Right, it's all different gardens, arranged differently by different people as well, I think. So I'm still, uh, still exploring, still finding stuff. And there's, and there's so many turnings. This is the National Camellia Collection. The ca ca Camellia can grow very large and consideration must be taken when deciding where to position your plant. There's somebody coming on a buggy. Yeah, you need one of those shuttle buses if you really want to get about. I mean, I'm what I'm doing is um, total ad lib. I've got no map. I have just a very, very, very crude map. I've got no um, detail about where I'm looking, so it's all very um, what do you call it? Spontaneous. Rose form double japonica coed. Apparently we should be able to see these plants out, but of course um, it's autumn now, isn't it? I don't even know if I'm allowed in this. I think I am allowed. I think it's open to the public. It's the house that you've got to pay to go in. But of course you can see, it's so easy to wander off. And um, see that I can, I can see a folly over the other side of that lake. I can see a folly, I can see some um, pillars. So I shall have to go and explore. Plymouth's over there as well. And we've got all the way back to do yet. It's like a little um, gardening lesson as you go around, really. How to care for your plants, where to place them, what they look like. See, that's gone up around there. I might not be able to get out here. I might have to go right the way back up there. But here's a little net lake and it stinks. It's eutrophied. Oh, look, there's an old boat. Let me just zoom in on it. An old schooner. They got names for these sort of boats, by the way. They used to have them on London Thames. Working boats. Very nice. That's the thing, living near a big river like this. Like I said, I've got no idea if I can get out. This could be that I've got to go back up. But I don't mind, otherwise I wouldn't have seen this temple. There might be a way through yet. There might be, I'll have a look in a minute. Yeah, there's a path, look. Yeah, I'll go up there in a minute. Wow, look at this. Somebody's left their shorts behind. The smell of the sea. Wow. Like I said, it's all very, very spontaneous, this. I, I've not been following a map at all. And I, every where I go, I seem to come across something really good. I mean, there's probably another way you could have got to this. Like, there might have been a little path. You can see this one had a rail on it once. Let's see if I can see any interesting stones while I'm here. This is going to be quite a walk, you know, because I've got a hell of a walk back. But the thing is, I can get the bus if I wanted to. I don't want to miss anything. So I've got to get over there yet. Yeah? 
You need a week down here to explore properly, don't you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look, there's a path there. I'll just go up and have a look round that in a minute that we probably missed. Some sort of dome, isn't it? Apollo's dome. Yeah, look, there is a way. I knew that I might have missed another path. We'll just go up here just to satisfy ourselves. Probably bump into those people that are sort of... But then, if you come come this way, you wouldn't have seen that way, so... There ain't, this is only going to take us on the very, very low path that I've obviously definitely missed big time. This very low path. Yeah. There's a lot to do here. And it's not over yet. Yeah, somehow I, um, it's when I went up, I think. It wasn't that clear, though, because I was following the instructions. I was following the instructions really closely. All right, I'm going to sit here a minute. Gisela Elliot, 1942 to 1995. Ever charming, ever new. When will this landscape for a tire of the view? John Dyer, 1901 to 1938. <sighs> yeah, they've all got names on them. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, take some photos.